how does pool filtration work? Like in a simple sense, we'll just separate the swimming pool itself from the filtration equipment, the pump, filter, heater, that kind of thing. So these are the two separate things that we're talking about here. The way filtration works in a swimming pool is that we're going to take some of that water from the pool, we're going to pass it through a set of equipment that's going to take physical debris out of it and maybe heat it up and add some chemical sanitizer to it, and then we're going to send it back into the swimming pool. So from in the, inside the swimming pool itself, you'll notice that there's fixtures all over the place. You've got these round ones on the walls, and sometimes there's ones on the floor of the deep end, and there's the rectangle one that's on the wall at the water level. All of these things, all the, these different ports are how we're taking the water from the pool and returning it. So right away, half of those things that you're looking at are suction lines, and the other half are the pressurized return lines. And so usually the round circles on the wall, those are the pressurized return lines and you can feel the water coming out from them. And that's the water that we've just finished filtering and treating with chemicals and heating, that kind of stuff. So the suction points usually are the skimmer, the rectangle mounted at the water level, and then main drains on the floor of the deep end of the pool. These represent the suction points. So the pump is what sucks water from the main drain and the skimmer, and then the pump pushes that water through your filter, through your heater, through your chlorinator or salt water cell, and then ultimately back to the pool through the pressurized return lines. The magic in a filtration system kind of happens in the filter itself. And there's different components. You've got the pump, you've got the heater, you've got a salt chlorinator cell. The filter is the big garbage can looking canister. It's, there's no wires, it's not powered. It's just a tank full of filtration media. It could be diatomaceous earth, DE, filter media. It could be silica sand or glass media in a silica sand filter. Or it could be a cartridge filter, which utilizes a paper media cartridge inside of the tank. One of these types of filters is what is removing all the physical debris and organic contaminants from the water. Once you've removed all the physical debris and contaminants from the water, all that's left to do is to chemically treat the water with a sanitizer, an oxidizer, and an algicide. Do you know what does all three of those things in one? Chlorine. So that's why we're using chlorine in swimming pools because it's a chemical sanitizer, it's an oxidizer, it's an algicide to prevent plant matter growth in the water, and so it takes care of all these things for us whilst containing a residual value. And what that means is that in the water there is chlorine. I mean, we could use a UV light or some sort of fancy peripheral equipment with which to sanitize or oxidize pool water, but those things only happen in the equipment area over with the pump filter heater, and they don't apply to the main body of water in the swimming pool. What would stop, you know, from, from contamination happening or bacteria from passing from one person to another if there was no residual protection within the water? And that's why we use chlorine, because it's a chemical sanitizer, it's an oxidizer, it's an algicide and it has the ability to build and hold a residual value within the water. The pool filter captures the physical debris that is within the swimming pool system and it builds up over time and eventually you have to perform filter maintenance, which would be something like backwashing a sand filter or opening a cartridge filter and cleaning the filter media itself. So pool filtration requires suction, a pump, a filter, and then returning clean filtered water back to the pool through the pressurized return lines. And that's the way in which pool filtration works. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.